It's a rape. It's a rape. It's a rape. It's a rape. First of all, there is no indication, no documentation whatsoever that the Protestant permitted any woman to be raped. So anybody who is saying that is a liar. That he allowed his followers to rape their female captives. That Muslim and so this allowed men, this allowed the Muslim men uh, to rape these captives whose husbands were sitting right there. They have no documented evidence of anything like that. A prophet does not rape. First bothers me. When, oh. when I was wrestling between Islam and Christianity, um, that to me was the biggest thing, was how in the world can the Quran allow for um, the raping, it's a rape, of captive women. Um, it's a rape. It's a rape. It's a rape. It's a rape. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. No documentation whatsoever that the Protestant permitted any woman to be raped. So anybody who is saying that is a liar. Do you understand how big our scriptures are? Nine volumes of Sahih Bukhari and you can't find one instance of rape in there? This is ridiculous. 800 pages of Sahih Muslim, Al Jalalain, Al Qurtabi, and no, we're talking literally of millions of pages and you can't find no rape in there? But you will never, never find one incident of rape, nor any ju teaching to justify that. It simply is not there. And the Islamic sources are vast. You can't find one single instance of this in our scriptures, and, and in spite of the fact of it being so vast, How is it that you cannot find one instance of this? But do you know what this historical evidence does prove? It proves there's a moral teaching out there. There is a moral teaching out there which is preventing these Muslims from engaging, from forcing themselves onto these women. All we have to do is just find it. The first is in Surah An-Nisa, ayah number um, uh, 36. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billahi min shaitan al-rajim. Wa'abudu allaha wa la tushiriku bihi shay'a. Worship God and do not um, attribute a partners to God. So do not say that there are two gods, three gods, four gods. Wa bil walidayni ihsana. And be very um, um, pleasing uh, uh, towards your walidayn, parents. Ihsan means be well behaved and be the um, uh, good behaved and act with your parents on the well behaved manner qurba as well as be well behaved to zil qurba your relatives wal yatama and orphans wal masakin and poor people wal jari zil qurba as well as the um, the uh, uh, neighbor Okay, uh, who is related to you, well, uh, and, uh, and also the neighbor who is living next to you, even though if he's not your relative, was um, biljam, and your friends who are living around, wabni uh, sabil, and the uh, strangers, okay, travelers. So be well behaved toward them, wama malakat aymanukum, as well as be well behaved toward those who are under your position. It will include. Uh, slaves and she slaves. Wama malakat aymanukum, as well as be well behaved toward those who are under your position. It will include uh, slaves and she slaves. Okay. Uh, so then uh, uh, Allah says, Inna Allah la yuhibbu man kana muhtalan fakhura. Because indeed Allah doesn't like those who are proud, pride, as well as um, uh, the people who are just claiming to be great. 
you know. So the uh, um, she slaves and slaves as that. So Allah is ordering us to be well behaved. Okay. Well as be well behaved towards those who are under your position. It will include uh, slaves and she slaves. Well as be well behaved towards those who are under your position. It will include uh, slaves and she slaves. No documentation whatsoever that the process has permitted any woman to be raped. So anybody who is saying that is a liar. That he allowed his followers to rape their female captives. That In terms of the ahadith, we did speak about it, if you remember, about the slaves, but anyway, I want to repeat some of them ahadith. So it is uh, uh, authentic hadith in Sunan ibn Majah an Ummi Salama, and Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, can he call if he murdered his lady to fear he a salat, Wama Malikat Aymanukum, Famaza Yakuluha Hatta Yufiza Biha Lisanuhu. Said the Ummu Salama says that when Rasulullah became ill, so the illness of the death, so Rasulullah kept on repeating, saying, uh, as salat namaz, prayer, take care of uh, prayer. Wama malakat aymanukum, and take care of your position, means uh, slaves and she slaves. So then she, he, Rasulullah would carry on repeating it till he would mention it for many, many times. No documentation whatsoever that the Prophet ﷺ permitted any woman to be raped. So anybody who is saying that is a liar. That he allowed his followers to rape their female captives. That and the next hadith is by Abu Nuaim and Ahmad and Ibn Abi Shayba from Ibn Umar. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من ضرب عبده أو لطمه فكفارته عتقه Anyone who beats his uh, slave um, or latomahu slaps on his face, so fakafaratuhu aitku. So purification of that sin is to free him. Okay, so it is then. So normally, because uh, raping, it will be by beating, isn't it? No, I think it's more or less is about exactly what we are talking about. So if you will slap your slave, she is slave, or if you will beat her, so then you are sinful, and purification of that sin, you have to free her. Okay, so uh, more or less it is about what we're talking about. No documentation whatsoever that the Prophet ﷺ permitted any woman to be raped. So anybody who's saying that is a liar. That he allowed his followers to rape their female captives. That No documentation whatsoever that the Prophet ﷺ permitted any woman to be raped. So anybody who is saying that is a liar. That he allowed his followers to rape their female captives. That This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous.
no documentation whatsoever that the Protestant permitted any woman to be raped. So anybody who is saying that is a liar. 